Yeah, yeah. I was going to post on my story, but it only lets you do short little clips, and this is going to be more than just 30 seconds or whatever it is. So I was just wanting to share my spontaneous thoughts right now. I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been thinking about all the opportunities that we have to grow and shift. A lot of those opportunities come from relationship and relating with people all around us. You know, people that cross our paths every day, on the street, at work, at home, our family, our friends, our lovers. A lot of opportunities are there in our relationships for us to ascend, for us to grow, for us to shift, for us to change, for us to become more self-aware. And so I was thinking about how when we do observe ourselves and when we do really focus on non-reaction, even though we're being triggered, you know, even if it's just on the inside, if we sit with that and we just don't react, we learn something. There's a lesson there. We're learning about ourselves. Why am I bothered by that? What is that? And the more we act from this place of new awareness, of higher awareness, the more miracles will happen. It's all about the action and expression. If we just come to these truths or come to these realizations, um, we won't do anything with it. They're always there. They've always been there. The truth is there. It's here now in you and me. But until we act on those truths, we're not manifesting a reality based on that truth. This is why we're really here in this dimension, in this physical reality. And this is how we bridge the world. And so I think we can continue to unlock these these unlock this potential more and more deeply um, through expression, through expression of our realization. It's like in that moment when you think to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm triggered right now um, because of this person or because of this situation, um, and we don't react. That's the first step, non-reaction. Okay, that's the first step. But we need to keep moving from there. We can't just not react. We need to really dissect what's happening there. So when we don't react and we stop, we pause, we reflect, we can then think, okay, well, this is how I would have reacted in the future. But this is how I'm going to act now. This is how I'm going to act. I'm going to act from a totally different place. I'm going to change my response to my environment or to this person or to the situation. And when you choose to act differently, something really big happens. Your entire reality shifts inside of you and then outside of you in reflection of that. And the farther we take it, the, the farther the miracle can go. We can stop and say, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to act from a place of being triggered. I'm going to pause, I'm going to breathe, and I'm going to react from a space of love. And, you know, maybe at first that means just not saying anything, because sometimes it's hard for us to find the words. A lot of the times it is. So even if it takes you, you know, being triggered over and over again, at least not responding will already create a world of a difference in your reality. Immediately. Because going from responding, you know, reacting, rather, without any, any awareness, without any presence, and then going to just non-reaction and going within, that right there is huge. So now you're inside, and you're on the inside, then you begin to do the work. Then, okay, now I'm, I'm ready, I feel confident. Now it's the fifth or sixth time I'm being triggered for the same thing. So I've done enough, um, you know, self-reflection, I've done enough uh, self-analyzation, and now I'm ready to act on this new awareness. But you can't just you can't just jump into the action of it. You have to really be sure that you're ready. You have to really be honest with yourself because if you've come this far, you're obviously already strong in your connection with yourself. And you're very aware that everything outside of you is but a reflection of yourself. And so you must know this then when you begin to speak or act from that place. You have to maintain that knowing, that self-awareness, that whoever you're speaking to or whatever you're responding to is in fact you. So then you begin to act from a space of love and you might say something nice as opposed to maybe not so nice in the past, something you might have said before. Maybe, you, you're, maybe your trigger brought up like, you know, a, a negative response, something that didn't really feel good to you, something that you knew if you spoke on that, it would come out very sharp or very mean or just not for the highest good of everything is one. If it's not kind, it's not for, for the highest good of everything is one. I mean, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about it has to be all sweet and trigger coded. I just mean your actions... And your response should always be for the highest good. If you're just responding from a place of anger or fear, it's not going to be that. You can react, you know, you can respond from a place of love or you can react from a place of fear. It's one or the other. 
So like I said before, the farther you take the expression, the farther the miracle can go. And so, in, you know, at first, at first you won't respond. You'll just go within because you know you're not ready. Then when you're ready, you respond. And then you can begin to take it farther. It's up to you. This can happen really fast. It's, it's really up to you and how fast you process this. And it could be different with each trigger because some triggers have more attachments. Some triggers, we have stronger cords. There's more to work through. There's more to analyze there. There's more to self-reflect. And some things can just be faster. It's up to you. It's all up to you. It's all in here. So then I might begin to say something kind in, in, in replacement of something that maybe wouldn't have been so kind in the past. And then... Then, as I get stronger in that, I'll take it to the next level and, and go extra hard. And I'll, I'll be like, you know, wow, like, you know, maybe something that triggered you before. Let's say, let's use an example to make it clearer, because I'm, I'm getting a little scattered here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to, like, get my, my thoughts out here. Let's say somebody says something to you, and you're triggered, and you're jealous or envious. The next time they say it, you just, you, you react from that place. Oh, man, like, good for you, <laughs> you know? Um... And then the next time you're like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm feeling jealous right now, but I'm just going to sit with that. I'm just going to sit with it. I'm just going to, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I'm going to sit with it. I'm just going to be quiet. And the next few times when you're triggered and you feel jealousy, you just at least just breathe and just be quiet and let it go. And then after the fifth or sixth time of doing this, you feel, you feel a sense of strength and you're no longer as triggered. So when somebody says the thing that, that used to trigger you, you instead say, I'm happy for you. Of course, this has to be honest. This has to be honest. You cannot harbor resentment. Then you're still triggered. It doesn't matter what dimension, inside or out, you're still triggered. It has to be honest. So you say, I'm happy for you. And then maybe you practice that the next few times. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. But then you're even stronger. And then the next time maybe you say, I'm so happy for you. That makes me feel so good. Your feeling good makes me feel good. Thank you for sharing, you know, and the more we express in, in honest, you know, kindness for others or in honest gratitude in honest goodness for others, the more we express that love and that gratitude, the more miracles will happen. And the, the opportunities to, to really go deep with that are always the ones that seem the hardest at first, like wherever you're really struggling and wherever you're really triggered, again, whether it's outwardly so, or just in your mind. It doesn't matter because it all begins in your mind anyway. If you are being triggered on some level, in some dimension, look at that. Look at that. Don't walk away from the situation. Don't walk away from the relationship. It's teaching you something about you. That is why we are in these situations. That is why we are here in this life. That's why we are in these relationships with whomever don't walk away from it. It's just you trying to tell you something. Internalize it as best as you can. Really ask yourself, why am I here and what is, it, what is this showing me? You know, we're not, we're not here to all do the same thing in every moment. We're all different. We're all relating differently. Every relationship is just, you know, but another journey along the path. Every, not every relationship leads to the same thing. It's not like all relationships have one purpose and it's this. Every relationship, every time we're relating to another being, it's only a part of a much bigger picture. But the constant theme is that we're always learning. It's always showing us something. So like I said, you know, what is the trigger? What is that? Can you, can you hold back from reacting? Can you go within? Can you pause? Can you breathe? Can you just be quiet? And ask yourself, what is that? And then can you turn it inside out? And how fast can you do that? Anyways, this is what I'm sitting thinking about. I have piles of laundry to fold, but sometimes you just need to pause and just like really go deep with your thoughts. Even if it's a thought you've been having over and over. Sometimes you just need to stop everything you're doing and give all of your attention to the thought and really honor it and go deep and come to the realization you need to come to so that you can integrate it and then continue about your way and fold your laundry, you know. <laughs> it's good to just honor whatever it is going on in your head. Just sit there and honor that by itself. Be fully present with it. So that's what I wanted to do. So thank you guys for whoever tuned into this little rant. <laughs> Go fold your laundry.